Hello and welcome to T3. One of the many ways Make It Work helps you achieve a stress-free digital lifestyle. I'm Jeremy Anticoni, and here's what's trending. Google CEO Eric Schmidt has confirmed that Google is working on a new tablet or Slate-style computer. HTC and Google have been rumored to be working on a Slate since January, and recently Google called the iPad a glorified phone without the phone. The new device is probably going to be Google designed and will run on Android and not the Chrome operating system which was originally discussed. The device will have some functionality that the iPad doesn't and may even include flash capabilities. I think competition is really good for the Slate PC market because, for example, when the iPhone first came out, it didn't have cut and paste, and it wasn't until a lot of other devices on the market had it before Apple released that functionality. Same with multitasking. They recently announced that functionality in OS 4, and it was after a lot of other devices had multitasking features. There's currently not an ETA, but we'll let you know as soon as we have some more information. Sony has announced a new PlayStation controller for the PlayStation 3. They're calling it the Move, and it senses motion, very similar to the Nintendo Wii controllers. It's designed for motion-based gaming, connects to the system via Bluetooth, and has DualShock vibration feedback. Some other features include a Nintendo-style nunchuck for certain types of games, such as a navigation controller, which gives you two-handed gaming and has an analog direction stick. The controller also has an orb on the top that changes color based on player number. This certainly will compete with Nintendo's Wii, which targets families and social gaming. But the PS3 has superior graphics, faster processors, and much more realistic games. Estimated release date for this controller is the fall. Over the last couple years, search is changing. People are using their mobile devices and doing all kinds of different types of searches. Voice and visual and location searches are becoming far more important. Google has expanded their portfolio with an acquisition of a UK startup called Plink for an undisclosed sum. They only have two employees, but they've created a visual search engine called Plink Art. You can photograph a piece of artwork, and they'll show you results such as the artist, the year that it was made, the type, the size, and location. This appears to be a talent acquisition for the Google Goggles service that Google already has. Google Goggles is available for Android-based devices with a camera and actually allows you to take a picture of an object and then get search results based on it. Google clearly recognizes the need to improve this service because the Goggles site says this is just the beginning. It's not quite perfect yet, and it works well for some things, but not all. Plink's founders are quoted as saying, the visual search engines of today can do some pretty cool things, but they still have a long, long way to go. Thanks for tuning in for T3. For tech trends and more, visit makeitwork.com. I'm Jeremy Anticoni, and that's what's trending.